you're about to see is a full-length free preview video from our brand new course on DJing with Ableton Live by our own certified trainers, Isaac Kotek and Ian Gallagher. If you like what you see in this video, check out below for more info on DJing with Ableton Live. It's Isaac Kotek from Warp Academy and I'm a part of the DJ course. And this is an example video. It's uh, just a small part taken from the overall course to show you both my teaching style and also the level and quality of information that we're sharing. This video is going to show you how you can use the technique of slice to new MIDI in a creative, interesting way within your live set. Now, one really awesome thing that I can do is I can come in here and I can right click and slice to new MIDI track. Now, when I do that, I can choose the type of slicing that I want. In this case, I just want a half note because I want fairly big chunks. I press OK and it'll automatically start cutting that up. Once I have that cut up, I can use any keyboard or keys to play those different parts. So you'll see the slices here. actually like a little bit of effects on there. So I'm going to go in here and grab a reverb, give a nice little tail of reverb. And then I'm also going to want a simple delay because I'm basically going to use this particular one to add just a little unique texture to things. So it's a simple delay. I'm going to turn down the dry wet feedback. So you can easily make a few racks from any of your tracks like this. Now I'm going to show an example of me going in between tracks and more of a DJ setup with these tools. So I've already set up these tracks and here I've taken this track of mine and I spliced it into MIDI already. So here I am just playing those so you can get an idea of what I spliced it into. Now I'll play the original track it came from. What I'm going to do is just play on top of it a little. This adds a unique live performance. I get some really cool things out of this. I'm also transitioning into the next song and I'm playing to kind of extend out this transition just a little bit. Then I'll hit enter on the next scene to play that. Just makes for like really interesting glitchy transitions. And now that this song's going, Now if this song's going, we're going to go over to this track where I've already spliced up a part of this song into another slice to MIDI rack. So now I can just play it. And whenever I want. Probably right after this breakdown, I'm going to come in with something a little interesting. The thing about this technique is it looks really good on stage. If you're up there and you're jamming away on either pads or on a keyboard, it's a really unique way of letting people know that you are more than just DJing. You are really adding to the tracks, remixing. You can even add elements of another track onto this one by playing it and vice versa. It's a really cool technique to add a new layer to your set.